Hey guys, welcome to another night in the shop. I'm Fred. So uh, another few updates on my uh, indexing table. Uh, I built a frame for uh, to help it rotate. Got the bearings installed. Got the um, contactor on the shaft uh, installed, and uh, I guess the little um, plug on the end where I can attach my uh, my ground cable. Uh, got the plate on. Uh, welded up the um, the D14 um, adapter to the shaft. So yeah, we're almost there. I've got this thing tilting. I just got to figure out exactly how far I'm tilting this thing over and uh, making a little sliding bracket, which I think I'm going to make out of aluminum. Anyways, uh, guys, I'd like to give you some close-ups to show you exactly what I've got done. All right, hang in there. Okay, guys, so uh, what I've done is I've made the frame. Uh, I took all up all the uh, pieces. Um, Right now, I just got a piece of round stock underneath here to hold it from uh, tilting too far. So uh, I have made uh, made it so I can tilt it almost 90 degrees. So I get it tilted about uh, 80, I'd say about 88 degrees. Uh, so that's about as far as I can I can tilt it with the table being completely over. So. Um, yeah, so I've got it. Uh, got this. Uh, if I put the uh, small six-inch chuck on, I can actually rotate it all the way over. I'm going to make a stop for this with a little bracket and a, an adjustment nut to uh, adjust it as far as I want it. Uh, right now, this this little piece of round stock just sits underneath the table to stop it from folding over. So uh, yeah, so we've got. Uh, We've got a tilting, we've got the uh, plate on top, uh, we've got it connected uh, to the gearbox or the worm drive, it's all secure, and then I've got the, uh, the main contactor clamp, and I'm going to give you some close-ups of that, and uh, um, like I said, I'll like just a, uh, a little piece of metal sticking out the side, which is my for my ground clamp, so uh, let me get you into close-ups, alright, hang in there. So here I've got the uh, the grounding clamp, and I've got uh, two plugs. I've got to get another uh, bracket like this to go on the opposite side, so it gives me 100% uh, contact onto the shaft. And then uh, I've got the sha the the uh, welding wire uh, hooked up to a uh, terminal block there, and it gets connected to this little plug here and you just clamp on the uh, the ground clamp onto that and it works pretty good because when I did the, uh, the the bottom part of the uh, adapter here I actually welded it in place and it worked out really well I was pretty happy with the uh, the grounding it worked out uh, flawlessly so yeah I've got the uh, the bearings on the end and I've got the little bar that holds it to in place because so I do have a little spacers in there to lock the uh, lock the uh, bearing onto the shaft, and that's on uh, both sides there. And I've got one bar that uh, I just finished manufacturing today that goes on the back side and gets bolted to the uh, frame as well. So. Altogether, this thing weighs about uh, 75 pounds, uh, pretty good. Uh, I haven't uh, put the motor, I haven't put any power on the motor yet. Uh, I'm just working on the uh, aluminum box here. I had to make some uh, small modifications to it, make it a little shorter. And then that box will actually be secured to the, uh, to the back of the unit. Or I might just uh, have a cable with a plug, so I can plug the uh, the two cables in for the motor. Um, I'm I've ordered the timing gear for the back, so it's on order, and uh, just waiting for the waiting for the parts. 
So uh, yeah, that's about uh, that's about the uh, gist of it for tonight. Uh, these are bolted to here, over here as well. So they're uh, 15 inches apart. So it works uh, works pretty good. Like I said, the, uh, the table tilts. It uh, it'll always tilt this way. Uh, the other way, the the shafts do clear, but uh, the majority of the time it'll be over towards this side here. Um, I did finish off the uh, drilling the the grub screws that hold the uh, the uh, this plate, this chuck plate that uh, normally fits on my lathe. So uh, yeah, it's uh it's working pretty good. I. Uh, I made the keyway a little bit too small. I got a little bit of lash in there, but I'm really not worried about it too much. So all in all, it uh, it turned out pretty good. So uh, yeah, uh, everybody was wondering how I was going to secure the uh, thing. So this is a uh, this is a little spring. Let me see if I can get close up there. So that little spring there gives me tension on the shaft. And uh, yeah, so it, uh, it transfers the uh, power of the ground right directly to the shaft so it doesn't have to go through the bearings. So uh, yeah, uh, cut a piece of Delron there. As you can see, I put a little shoulder on both sides and it, uh, it holds the, uh, these uh, quarter inch uh, copper plates from moving around. So yeah, it all worked out well. I'm uh, pretty stoked about it. So I just got to get the uh, control box uh, set up. Uh, I've got to secure the other bracket on the on the back side of it, and uh, that's about it. And then I'm just going to make a little cover, a little aluminum cover that goes across here. That covers everything up. Really, I don't have to, but on the on the uh, timing side, I I am going to make a cover just to stop uh, any shit from uh, or pardon me any stuff from falling into the uh, belt, but. Uh, this side here seems to be okay so it all uh it all turned out good at the end yeah like i said it's uh it's a little heavy 75 pounds it's but it's doable so and uh it's it tilts exactly as far as i need it to tilt so about 89 88 degrees which is uh perfect uh for uh for my uh, welding anyways uh, so yeah that's about it guys so yeah we're done almost just gotta wait for the timing timing belt and the gears and uh, I just gotta well do some uh, gotta do some uh, tigging on the on the control box here um, this was a, a bigger box I chopped it down to size so, so I, uh, I have to do a little bit of Taking on the on the corner here, and the only reason I'm putting it in a box is because when you're doing AC, the frequency just makes everything. It even makes the radio in my uh, shop here go all cattywampus. So um, the AC frequency is high, so I don't want it interfering with the power supply. So I'm putting in the aluminum box. Going to knock out a little knockout for the fan, and uh, away we go. All right, guys, hang in there. Uh, so guys, uh, yeah, that's it for the uh, indexing table. Got a few more screws. I gotta drill up the back side of the uh, for the uh, support here. Uh, keeps everything nice and straight and keeps everything rigid. So um, I'm gonna make a little bracket here that allows me allows it to slide. I'm gonna slot a piece of aluminum with a with a little handle, and I'll show you the handles I've got. Uh, I acquired a functional. So we're going to use these little handles here to uh, lock it down and uh, these can be rotated any any which way by pressing this button here. So uh, yeah this one here is uh, I believe it's 516 so that'll work out perfect. It'll sit on the side there and uh, when I need to tighten it up I can tighten it up. So yeah that's it for tonight, for tonight guys. Uh, I didn't do a whole lot of machining. I was doing more uh, welding, taking up uh, the uprights where the bearing supports are, 
and uh, these pieces here. So, uh, yeah, that's about it. So I'd like to say uh, thanks to all my subscribers, thanks to all my new subscribers. And you guys have a great night. Uh, enjoy the video. Thumbs up. Send me comments. Thank you so much. You guys have a great night. Bye for now.